What's up, guys? Today we're checking out Seascape Golf Club out here in Aptos, California, just south of Santa Cruz. Um, we played this track a couple of times. Great course, um, pretty challenging greens, a lot of moisture in the air. Got marine layer starting to burn off here. Um, <clears throat> we're just getting going here. We teed off at 6.56 um, early morning after we stayed up pretty late last night. Hopefully we can get a few good shots in for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you can, please hit that thumbs up button. Thank you. Alright, hole two, playing uphill, playing all of 441. As you guys can see, we're going straight up right, dog leg left. Um, definitely don't want to go left into the Alice's right, there's a bunch of OB. This one we got a short par four going uphill. This one's only about 350. Um, trees on the left and right, as you can see, everything kind of just funnels back down into the little valley. Um, two big bunkers up there by the green. Um, see if we can hopefully hit a better approach shot than we have the last few holes. We need to start picking it up if we want to score. All right, here we go.
part three here. Um, got a little valley down low. You do not want to go. Playing about uh, 215 from the tips back here. Um, you definitely do not want to be above the hole. The green is slanted back towards us. Um, it's very, very quick. So short here is not horrible. And you definitely don't want to go right down in the valley. A bunch of dry patch stuff. playing 353 yards uh, par 4 you want to stay left don't want to go right everything kind of funnels back down to the right um, bunkers on the right hand side and the driving range long so don't be long <laughs> So here we have a little dog leg right, number nine, going back up towards the clubhouse. Par four, playing about 365. Target is just to kind of go right, just left of those trees on the right there. So we got a 550 yard par five, but you're hitting straight down into the goalie. It's a signature hole here at Seascape. Everything kind of funnels back in, back towards the middle. Um, the green's right about over there, behind, tucked behind those trees.
15 par 4 playing a little bit over 350 yards um, fairway's pretty good you want to stay left at, or I'm sorry right of that tree where the 150 is um, you got a big dip that goes down underneath it to an elevated green <music> Next one here we have a number 16 par 3 playing about 194 to the pin from here. Uh, pretty self-explanatory shot. Two bunkers on either sides of the green. Flag looks like it's in the front, right in the middle. I think I'm going to take a hybrid here, just nice and easy swing. So here we have hole number 18, par 5, playing about 445. Um, dog leg right, not a particularly long par 5. Um, the play is to hook it over those trees on the right where you can see those people up there by the 150. Um, green's pretty tiny for number 18, a lot of bunkers surrounding it. And again, another one of those bunkers that kind of slope left to right. So you don't want to be above the hole. So as you guys are about to see, we had some technical difficulties here. My dad said he was going to stop and start the camera again, but unfortunately he forgot to start it. Um, I do go past the hole here and the video does cut out, but I do make my last putt to finish up with the bogey on the par 5 here. Finish with a total score of an 88. Overall, great day here at Seascape. Comment down below what you guys think that you would score here. Alright, have a great day.